everyone, what's going on? It is Sidikbutzor, Justin, and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skywars. Guys, today I will be talking about all of the new ranked updates, the ranked rewards, and new ranked maps coming very soon to the ranked game type. I don't know how many of you guys play it, but I occasionally pop in. There are way more in Season 1 than Season 2, but I think I'll try and get back into it in Season 3. So... First off, if you guys played in Season 1, which is, I believe, last month, and you're wondering, well, what am I getting for playing so much, for getting to such a high rating, and dedicating so much time to this game mode, which doesn't even help your solo stats at all? Well, they have finally added in all the rewards for you guys who are very, very loyal to Ranked and played it a lot. So, go into your shop, go to the gold block, it is called Ranked Rewards, Click on that bad boy, and you will see each season that is currently going on. Well, I mean, that's ever going on. Uh, season 1 and Season 2. We're going to ignore Season 2 right now and focus on Season 1. So, first things first. If you guys played even one game of Ranked last season, last month, then you should have the participation prize, which gives you 35,000 high pixel experience, 15,000 Skywars coins, let's go, boys, and an Ender Dar or Dragonling hat. What is? I don't know what a Dragonling is. But, well, as you would guess, it's on the very last page right here, so select it, and let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, okay. You know, I think the hat's pretty solid. I mean, anyone who plays ranked will get this hat via that participation prize, so it shouldn't be insane. I think it's cool for what it is, so let's go to move back into the rewards right here. Guys, I do apologize. Obviously, you just saw none of these were claimed, and they all had stuff on them. I unfortunately had a weird frame issue with my face cam, so I have to re-record this part of the video, so... I do apologize, but let's move on. If you guys placed within number 1501 to 5000, you get these rewards right here. Pretty solid, right? If you place in my division, which was gold, which is number 201 to 1500, you get these rewards. Pretty cool as well. I will gladly take them for what I did. If you guys placed in the diamond division, which is number 11 to 200, you get these things right here. These are pretty cool as well. You know, the Skywars coin's pretty solid, and the XP is kind of mind blowing, but it's a lot. Now, if you guys went hard, if you guys played a lot, if you were very good, and if you got ranked in the top 10 people out of everyone who played ranked during Season 1, you get these rewards right here. Drop the mic, boys. Throw it down. Throw out the window. Do something I don't really know, but you get insane stuff. An insane amount of high pixel experience, a lot of Skywars coins, a 12-hour, 7 times coin booster. That right there is a YouTuber rank for 12 hours straight, basically, added on to anything else you got going on. That's insane. That is actually crazy. You get a Dragon Rider Victory Dance. Don't know what that is. You get a Magic Box Cage. I think that's from Yu-Gi-Oh. You get a Blood Explosion Kill Effect. Pretty cool. And you get the Season 1 Master's Trophy. Not yet. It's coming soon. And you also get the Skywars 1 Master Skywars Banner Gadget. I said Skywars way too many times right there, so... That is everything you get if you have placed in the top 5,000 players in Season 1. And quickly, if you guys want to see what you get for these placements in Season 2, you can just go to the same place, hover over them, and read it for yourself. It's pretty cool. So, moving right along. Now, they have actually added in four new classes and four new perks to complement those classes into your GUI right now. You can actually buy them if you would like to. I tested it. You can buy them. You can't use them yet. But if you want to, you can get a head start for buying them. They are available to be used starting on June 1st for Season 3. Now, I'm going to list all of them on the screen. Now, it's pretty insane. You can see Healer, Pyromancer, Blacksmith, and Athlete. You can see all of the tiers that you get by upgrading them. I don't know, man. I'm looking at Athlete over there. You get a custom strength plus 20% potion. That could be the most overpowered thing I have seen in Skywars in my life. I don't know how it's going to play, but I will definitely be maxly upgrading Athlete as soon as I can use it starting June 1st and getting in gameplay and showing you guys ASAP because my goodness, that's amazing. The perks are actually really, really insane this time around as well. So, say for the healer class, if you use the perk and the class together, then every kill you get, you get five hit points back on that kill, which is pretty insane. If you're using the Pyromancer class and perk together, you get 15 seconds of fire resist, 10 seconds of speed, and a five second trail of fire. So, if someone's walking behind you, they will just start burning right there and then, which is pretty useful as well. Now, the least impressive perk out of all of these is the Blacksmith perk. Basically, every kill you get three levels and a random book gets dropped. But the book is only enchanted up to level one. 
So it's only going to be Sharpness 1 or Prot 1. Depending on your playstyle, I'd be pretty insane, but I personally think that is probably the worst out of these four brand new perks. And lastly, the Athlete perk doubles the duration of all active perks that you have on your body. I don't think that's super useful because there's not many of these perks that actually rely on a time-based thing. Uh, Rusher does, but I'm sure by the time you get a kill, that's already gone. And then Juggernaut would be seemingly the most useful thing to have in correlation with this perk, but I don't know, maybe I'm forgetting something, maybe I'm not reading something, or maybe they're adding in more stuff in the future to help that even be better. And lastly, they're actually adding in 8 new maps to Season 3, so we're going to be having, I believe, 12 total maps for Ranked, which is pretty cool. So, they're all on screen now, starting with Coherence, which looks pretty nice, uh, Dynasty, which is basically a Ranked version of Jinzo, um, Eden, which looks kind of like Tribal with some flowers in the background, and then we have Fortress, which kind of reminds me of Siege a little bit. Uh, next up is Meteor, which reminds me of a different kind of glass pane version of an already existing ranked match. Uh, not match, map, I mean. Um, then next is Reef, which reminds me of Spongebob, to be honest. Next up is Sawmill, which reminds me of a smaller version of the mega map Frost. And lastly is the map Village, which, re which reminds me of, well, the Village. So, if any of those maps remind you guys of any existing maps in the server, definitely comment down and let me know your thoughts on that. And, uh... That will do it for all of the ranked updates. Make sure you guys go and get those rewards if you played ranked at all. And let me know if these rewards and how insane they really are will motivate you guys to play ranked even more and trying in those higher, higher spots to get better and better stuff from those spots. So let me know. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I very much appreciate that. And yeah, other than that, make sure you guys subscribe to see more news for Skywars and just Skywars gameplay. And subscribe to the Nano Light Jazz. I just beat myself. It is fine. Other than that, though, I will talk to you guys all later. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.